Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome to our new uh, egg hunt. Thanks to an amazing commenter for finally saying what we are going to be hunting. Uh, it, it's time to hunt a uh, a new a new uh, thing. So yes, thank you to this wonderful commenter who should be on screen right now for giving me the feedback I needed and now it's time to hunt a new thing so the deciding verdict was score bunny as you saw in the comment so we are gonna shiny hunt for a shiny hopefully hidden ability score bunny um, so yeah as you see I've got my uh, got my PC already we have our 95 eggs we'll gather up five right here and then we will go over to the wild area and hatch them out in a time lapse and I've already changed my outfit to the fire type bike uniform uh, and I figured the red and white combo would make the most sense because Cinderace is red and white mostly more orange, but close enough. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and gather these eggs and go hatch them. Uh, I've been looking forward to doing this hunt, but I didn't want to be the one to decide on which one we would do first. If I had my choice, it would have been this one first, to be fair. Um, just because Cinderace is really good. Uh, but... Luckily, it just so happened that we got that one first anyways. Like, if the comment had been Sobble, I definitely would have done Sobble first as well. But, luckily, I got to do the one I wanted to do next. Hopefully, it doesn't take anywhere near as long as when I did uh, Grookey, which that was before I started uploading videos. But, Grookey took... An insane amount of time. I think I've mentioned it in a past video. I, I actually have definitely mentioned it in a past video. But let me pull up my list again real quick. Uh, Grookey took 2,418 eggs. Yeah, not that. That was not a fun time. <laughs> I did end up getting two of them in the end, though, so, I mean, I, it kind of paid itself off. Not really, because I was, like, almost five times over odds and only ended up with two for it, but at least two is better than one. Alright, hopefully this can be nice and quick. <clears throat> Alright, that's 100 eggs. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> head over to... A wild area. Ah, uh, this is a good enough spot. Sure, why not? Alrighty. Let's see. Let's get right into it then. Um, I almost want to do the first five in real time as well. Just because I'm so excited to hatch eggs again. Um. Yeah, we might do the first. Oops. We might do the first five in real time as well. Just for the heck of it. Uh, why not? I'm excited to hatch eggs again. Um, Alright, let's just get right to it. So, just... I don't know if I ever mentioned how I get this nice angle going here. I saw it in another video. I'm so sorry, I don't remember who it was. It was some other small creator much bigger than me but not like a huge super well-known pokemon creator but um essentially you just come to the wild area and hold in one direction on both joysticks and then you'll get this nice uh this nice angle here oh i'm so irritated i can't remember who it was that I learned this from. I'm sure other people have also said, like, talked about this tip, but like, other than this person. But I'm really irritated right now. Um, let me see if I can 
find the video while the eggs hatch. Um, all right, there's a one egg. Um, oh, my Joy-Con are drifting a little. I don't think it was this video. Oh, it might have it might have actually been from a Pokey Tips video, and he is a pretty big channel. Yeah, it was actually probably from Pokey Tips. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think it was. So not a very small channel after all. For some reason, I thought it was a really small channel. Well, I keep saying really small. I'm the smallest channel out here, but, uh... <laughs> but, compared to, like, the big guys, they were... I thought it was a fairly small channel, but I guess not. Alrighty. Uh, looks like we're not gonna have some first batch insane mega luck. That would have been very cool, but tis not the case, unfortunately. Um, no first run shiny like we got from Dynamax Adventures the other day. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to be going for Hidden Ability, because Score Bunny has a really nice Hidden Ability. Oh, hi... Shoot. I just realized that, uh... I didn't go for any egg moves. And I've already gathered a hundred eggs. Eee, now I kind of hope we don't get the shiny right away. Because I think... Score Bunny heavily benefits from egg moves. And now I'm irritated that I forgot about those. Uh, let's see. What are good egg moves? Uh, -huh -huh. uh, okay. It actually doesn't have that many egg moves. The only useful ones are high jump kick and sucker punch. I mean, like, it can get sand attack, which is arguably useful. And super fang is kind of cool. But... It doesn't have anything super insane. Let's see. Um. Yeah, it doesn't get anything too crazy, actually, from egg moves. Alrighty, that makes me feel better. Um, yeah. We should be pretty fine. Oh, wait. Hold on, what is it? Uh, it doesn't really get many good fighting type moves. Oh, never mind, never mind. Low sweep is pretty good. Yeah, low sweep is pretty good. Alright, yeah, never mind. I'll be fine. I don't need egg moves. I don't really like high jump kick, so... And what, what was the other one? I've already closed the page. What was the other one I said was kind of okay? Sucker Punch. Yeah, I'm not too worried about Sucker Punch either. Alrighty, uh, it is time to get into the time lapse. So, I will see you guys for the last five eggs, or in case we get the shiny here in the first video. So yeah, I'll see you guys when one of those things happens.
Alrighty, time to do these last five in real time, like we normally do. And hopefully we can uh, get the shiny super early. Actually, do I want to get it super early? I don't know, I, I kind of, like, I would be excited to get it right now, but I also wouldn't mind not getting it right now, because that means I can do another video. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see. I, I don't mind if we don't get it right now, but if we do and have a nice one and done video, that would be pretty cool. But, not expecting it. We will probably end up having to do a couple more videos, and that is fine. Uh, I'm going to stick to the um, um, egg amount that I did in the for Applin. So the first four videos will be 100 eggs. The fifth video will be 112 eggs. And any videos after that will be 150 eggs. But that's only if we get that high up again. But I want to just, that's just going to be the standard for egg hunts just going forward. Uh, let me check a text real quick. Uh, all right. Sorry about that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. All right, let's see. Hopefully, when we get it, it would be really cool if we could hatch a uh, a square shiny. That would be very cool. And a starter would be, like, the perfect one. Because, like, you have to hatch them if you want a shiny. <sighs> Does anybody else really hate that change, by the way? And this is a uh, rhetorical question, because I know the answer is yes. Like, I just don't understand the whole, like, shiny locking the starters at the beginning of the game. Like, just, why? Why even do that? Like, it just doesn't really make sense to me. But, I have a feeling it'll probably happen again in, uh, what are the new ones? Scarlet and Violet. Because the past what three game or no two games well technically there was one in the middle because they were shiny locked in this game not shiny locked in brilliant diamond shining pearl and then shiny locked again in arceus and looks like we didn't get it that time that is fine uh oops but yeah i just i don't i really don't like the whole uh shiny locked starters it it's just annoying like i don't know maybe <clears throat> excuse me uh maybe in scarlet violet i'll soft reset for a female starter just so that way i could start breeding as soon as uh like i won't need a ditto to start breeding i don't want to i don't know the specifics and here's a little spoiler warning ahead of time if you don't want the spoiler skip ahead a few seconds uh i, I might put on screen it, it it it's not gonna i'm not gonna put it on screen it's gonna take just a few seconds so spoiler warning uh for a leak that i've just heard a little tiny bit about supposedly there are going to be breeding changes in scarlet and violet i have no idea what they are but I heard someone talking on Reddit about breeding changes coming to the new games. So I don't know what they are. I kind of didn't, I kind of wish I didn't even know they were coming at all. But I saw it in a comment and it's been something I've been kind of thinking about uh, ever since. But either way, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy having the egg hunts back, then make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell, don't forget that. And I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, see you then.